Our kids will be completing a three-phase STEM project this year. Phase one, we will launch weather balloons from here at Snow Hill Middle School. Those balloons will have uh, X chips connected to them and they'll travel about three to five miles up into the atmosphere, collecting things like temperature, air pressure, um, light amount, humidity. Uh, in phase two, the, our students will design a space hardened sp satellite that will be connected to a high altitude helium balloon launched out of Indiana. That balloon will travel over 20 miles into the stratosphere and pass right through the ozone layer. In phase three, our students put together a uh, proposal, a research proposal, that plan will get sent to Twig Space Labs in Louisville, Kentucky. They will design the actual satellite and build it, and then that uh, satellite will be sent to Wallops Spaceport in, in Virginia, and it will be attached to an Antares rocket uh, that's headed towards the International Space Station. The launch is scheduled for fall of 2018. Uh, when that rocket reaches about 120 miles um, above the Earth, uh, the satellites will be ejected and our students' thin sat will be orbiting the Earth for approximately 7 to 10 days, all the while live streaming data right to their computer. Before anything else, I hope they get a passion for science. Um, I hope they really um, get engaged. Uh, I really hope that they see the magic of science and technology. And I hope that I can take, you know, kind of technical information and put it into a form that not only can they um, engage in and understand, but truly love and feel a passion for. Um, second, they're just gonna, they're gonna get a whole lot of hands-on experience working with technology and um, with scientists at NASA. Um, and third, um, they're gonna see how um, our Earth is a very, very complex and ultimately fragile system. And it's really, really important that um, the kids understand that the decisions that we're making are going to affect not only their lives now, but their lives in the future. Well, uh, I think the, the best indicator of my success as a teacher is how many kids, um, when they end up getting to college, um, choose uh, a path in the sciences and in technology, engineering, math. And so the more kids that I can, spy, can inspire towards that goal, um, that's, what I, that's my marker for success. How many kids love science when they're done? Uh, number two, uh, you know, right now this is our first year and we have over 70 schools involved across uh, six states. Um, and what we would hope to see is that we just build, continue to build on our success and, and build this project out across the country and um, hopefully into, um, you know, outward.